So what, you just happen to know he likes the cosmos at this place? This place is a nexus of human reproduction. It's exactly the kind of, of garden that Cupid will come to, to pollinate. Wait a minute. You're not hungry. No. What? I'm not hungry. Then you're not going to finish that. What the hell was that? It's a human soul. It's starting to make sense. Now what about that makes sense? And when did you start eating? Exactly. My hunger. It's a clue, actually. For what? This town isn't suffering from some love gone wrong effect. It's suffering from hunger. Starvation, to be exact, specifically. Famine. Famine? As in the horsemen? Great. Well, that, that's freaking great. I thought famine meant starvation. Like, as in, you know, food. Yes, absolutely. But not just food. I mean, everyone seems to be starving for something. Sex, attention, drugs, love. Well, that explains the puppy lovers that Cupid shot up. Right. The cherub made them crave love. And then famine came and made them rabid for it. Okay, but what about you? I mean, since when do angels secretly hunger for White Castle? It's my vessel. Jimmy. His, uh, appetite for red meat has been touched by famine's effect. Are you serious? You should make me very happy. How many is that? Lost count. It's in the low hundreds. <whistles> what I don't understand is, where's your hunger, Dean? Huh? Well, slowly but surely, Everyone in this town is falling prey to famine, but so far you seem unaffected. Hey, when I want a drink, I drink. When I want sex, I go get it. Same goes for a sandwich or a fight. So, you're saying you're just well-adjusted? God, no. I'm just well-fed. Not thick. 